miss you, class of 2020. Welcome to my home. I recognize that this is totally different from what I presented to you four years ago at Convocation when I said that the next time we would meet again as a group, it would be at your commencement ceremony at the Brick Britain Fieldhouse, surrounded by 8,000 people, all of them happy at the same time. Who would have told us back then that this is what our new normal looks like? Over the last six weeks, technology has brought us to each other's homes, living rooms, kitchens, and even car garages serving as backdrop for our virtual meetings. Like all the logs, I tried different rooms in my home until I settled here in my library. It is one of my favorite places because it has one of my most treasured possessions, the books I have read and accumulated during my life. It goes without saying that I love books. I think books contain condensed knowledge. Between their covers, we find the distilled experience that have required years for the author to understand. And the lessons learned are available to us in a matter of an hour's read. Books, therefore, are very important. And according to Cervantes, the Spanish author of Don Quixote, there is not a book that is so bad that does not contain something good in it. For many of us, books have been our companion during this pandemic. And yet, what this period of time has shown us is that people and not things are what's most important in our lives. I'm sure you will agree that the stay-at-home experience has provoked many a times for reflection, sometimes when we least expect it. The other day, my daughter sent me a photo of my two granddaughters, Aurora and Celeste. Seeing them playing and then sleeping made me think that at eight and four years of age respectively, these two girls that live in my native Puerto Rico have witnessed many transformative events. To list some from the recent past, they include two Category 5 hurricanes, a financial collapse, and just in 2020, a 6.5 and a 6.3 earthquakes and a pandemic. For a moment, I feared what would these events do for these two girls and their future. And then I remembered my grandmother, Julia, born in 1905, a few months before President Teddy Roosevelt visited the island in the aftermath of the Spanish-American War. In a short period of time, little Julia experienced the transfer of sovereignty that included a change in school instructional language, financial calamity, several devastating hurricanes, World War I, the Spanish influenza, and just a, mo a month before the conclusion of the war, a devastating 7.5 earthquake followed by a tsunami. She experienced all those events in her first 12 years of life. And you know what happened to Julia in the face of adversity? She became a force of nature. She thrived, she blossomed, and throughout her life, no setback would be large enough to have her lower her chin. Thankfully, Julia was not the only one. I want for you to think for a moment about your own family ancestry. I am sure in your circle, there were outstanding ancestors who braved the elements, who conquered the odds, who accomplished things that at the time would have defied imagination. You have good genes, my students. You have a history. You have a reason to be proud. And yes, you also have been fortunate. So, in the momentous occasion of completing your college education, 
I want to commend you for this huge accomplishment. And I want to inspire you to go out in the world and do extraordinary things. You are strong, you are blessed, and you should be grateful. Walk out firmly with the conviction that you will exhibit the strength of character and will complete the feats that your descendants will brag about when they face their own share of adversity in the future. Congratulations, my dear Bobcats. May you and yours continue to prosper. Now you go out in the world and shine brightly forever in blue and gold. Go Cats, go! Good evening. Welcome to MSU College of Agriculture Spring Graduation Celebration. My name is Shrikala Bajwa and I am the Dean of the College of Agriculture. We are here today to celebrate the great milestone you have accomplished in your life. I want to start by congratulating you, our graduating seniors, for achieving your dream of a college degree. Kudos to your teachers, parents, grandparents, spouses, and friends whose help and support were crucial in getting you here. You came to MSU four to five years ago filled with the hopes and dreams. You worked tirelessly to complete your degree program. Some of you persevered through challenging times in your life and in classrooms. You gained new knowledge and skills that have culminated in this degree. This degree will give you a jump start for the next step in your life. But remember, continued learning is critical to, for continued success. These are challenging and uncertain times. Remember that every challenge also opens up opportunities. You will find success if you actively seek and embrace those opportunities. The agriculture and the life science sectors still need many talented graduates like you to continue to feed the world, protect our natural resources, and to ensure people enjoy good health for generations to come. I am looking forward to seeing the exciting contributions you will make towards that bright future. You graduating class have gone through something none of us have experienced before. I am proud of you, your accomplishments, and the resilience you showed in these extraordinarily difficult times of a pandemic and a disrupted economy. Spring graduates of 2020, this is your opportunity to remake the world into a better place with the safe and abundant food, better health, and a healthy environment. This is not an easy task, but each of you can make a difference. I look forward to the new and exciting changes you will make to the world. Once again, congratulations class of 2020 and go cats.
Happy graduation! I am thrilled to recognize the graduates from the Department of Land Resources and Environmental Sciences. The Department of Microbiology and Immunology. Of the Department of Animal and Rain Sciences. And of Agricultural Economics and Economics. The Department of Plant Sciences and Plant Pathology. In Agricultural and Technology Education. You've come to the, the end of a long journey. Um, and ended your last semester uh, having to deal with a lot of challenges associated with the uh, the COVID-19 crisis. We wish we could have celebrated with you in person, but unfortunately we could not do that this spring. We could not be any more proud of you, even if we were able to gather together for fist bumps, handshakes, and even hugs. But I wanted to take this opportunity to congratulate you and wish you the best in your future. We applaud you for completing your programs and are honored to have been a part of your lives. It is, an, it is my honor to let you know how proud the faculty and staff are of your accomplishments. From my backyard in beautiful Bozeman, I'd like to applaud all who made this day possible. Please know that we are very proud of each of you and that we have been delighted to be part of your education and to have had the chance to have you in our classes. As with any accomplishment, there is most always someone who has helped us get there. First of all, remember your families and parents who provide support in so many ways. Thank you, family and friends, for allowing us to be a part of your students' lives, their education, and their investment into the future. Once the pandemonium settles, we are confident that you, along with all of us, will fondly remember the unique graduating class of 2020. I know these are trying times and because of that I want to encourage you to stay connected to the department. We would be delighted to be able to stay in contact with you so please stay in touch. Um, if you're ever back in Bozeman visiting the campus stop in and say hi. Again congratulations and best wishes. I extend congratulations on this accomplishment. Congratulations again. Go Cats and congratulations graduates. Congrats. Hey everyone, just want to give a quick congrats on graduating and finishing out our college career the way we had to. It definitely wasn't easy or ideal, but we made it. Uh, I want to wish you all the best of luck in your next chapter, whatever that may look like. And I know we'll have quite the celebration waiting for us in December. Go Cats.
Hey all you cool bobcats and kittens, I wanted to congratulate you guys on graduating and I couldn't think of a better, more resilient class to take all this in stride. So congratulations, go celebrate, and we'll see you in December. First and foremost, congratulations to all College of Agricultural graduates. I know that my last four years at Montana State were memorable and valuable thanks to all of you along with the faculty and staff that I got to meet along the way. Montana State truly does feel like a second home to me and it's all thanks to the people inside of it who have made my experience special. Again, congratulations and best of luck in your future endeavors wherever that may take you.
Even though it does not appear to be an ideal time to graduate, I believe that our class will have an incredible number of opportunities, whether we go out into the world or continue on with academia. Change is occurring rapidly, and this change represents an obstacle, but it also affords the ability to rethink how society should function and what our careers should look like. Through diligence and creativity, we can have a significant impact on the evolution of our times. I would challenge you to pursue this. As we approach the end of this celebration, I want to remind you all that we will be celebrating your commencement in December. I hope you will all join us for that celebration then. As you embark the life after college, remember to keep in touch with your department, your professors and advisors, and come back to share your experience with the future students in your programs. Once again, congratulations graduates, this ends our ceremony.